you could do so many different things and you don't just sit at a desk all day and you get to save lives. And for me, that seemed like the best job in the world. Hello, my name is Camilla Hagevik. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Norway. I study medicine at Samuelweis University here in Budapest, Hungary. My dad's from Norway, which is where I grew up, um, and then my mom's from the UK. So I'm hoping to be the first doctor in my family. The reason why I wanted to go into medicine, why it became such an epiphany for me, was because when I met doctors or people who worked in the medical profession, I became like starstruck. Like the way you meet a celebrity, uh, it feels like sort of a special moment and they, they're experts in such a field that not a lot of people know a lot about. I thought when, if I meet this person and I become starstruck, then I have to do this myself. When I go back to Norway in the summers and uh, get to experience the Norwegian healthcare system and the hospitals itself, whenever I meet people and I say that I study at Semmelweis, they're like, wow, you, you know your stuff. You come with a level of quality of teaching that they recognize very highly in Norway. And they, they know the university really well when you return. And for me, that was valuable. I want to become either a gynecologist or an ear, nose and throat doctor. When we walk around to all these different hospitals and we, we meet people who we have to speak Hungarian to, um, my first sentence is always And then when they say no, I'm like, oh, and then I have to try Hungarian. <laughs> The first couple of years were rough. I have to be honest, it's a lot of work. I mean, they when I had my ENT exam, I mean, the night before you feel physically sick and you're stressed and most likely it will go well, yes. But every time you feel like you're gonna fail, every time it's 66 topics and you risk pulling one topic, you risk getting the expression, this is not good enough, come back another time. The friends that I have here are invaluable. We take care of each other. We back each other up. We help each other out. Without them, I don't think I could do this. They are, without a doubt, friends for life. Living in Budapest is a proper, proper privilege. I love living here. I love living in my flat. I love the cultural aspects, like seeing the basilica, seeing the fisherman's bastion, walking up to the castle, going to wine festivals at the castle, just going for a walk up Gellot Hill on a Sunday evening, being able to go out to lovely restaurants and experiencing the food, really, really good cuisine that they can provide here. I also love going horse riding. Being around horses, you have to be careful, you have to be empathetic, you have to be calm, and you have to provide a sort of connection that you understand as well as they understand. And I think using that in being around patients and talking to patients is just the most important thing. We see so many patients with uh, chronic pain and chronic conditions that they have to live with for the rest of their lives. And just being able to help them make a difference to the way they go through life, the way they experience life, that's important for me. And being able to help that is second to none.